So this video is more or less going to be talking about um, like just ideas for what could happen in Phibia season three. Since season two ended, we did get the um, intro as a, like an after credit scene for where the show could go. That's it's really like there's really like so many places it could go and left us with a lot of questions. So I decided, you know what? Let's talk about like some ideas and theories that once again. I've only been right about one or two theories, and my batting average ain't batting a thousand <laughs> for theories. So, let's just basically talk about for this video just some ideas of where Season 3 could go. Now, we do know from the intro, uh, we do know that, An uh, that Anne and the Planters are back on Earth, and it does look like there's going to be like a government agency in an ice cream truck, or at least conspiracy theorists looking to go after the Planters. And we do know that Anne's going to be using more of her powers her to go Super Saiyan Blue. That's what it is. Why is my phone going so off? Uh, so off? Often? I'm, I'm bad at sentencing. Anyway. So, in, so we do know that. We do know that the show is going... Like, the show is going in that direction of having Anne control her powers while, it, it, while Andreas is sending robots to go fight her. Kind of like, you know, in a Power Rangers kind of way. Like, I'm almost expecting and Andreas to go, Make my robot grow! You, I bet you that will happen. At some point, they'll do a Power Rangers reference. They've already done enough with Gundam and other animes. I would not be shocked if we got a Power Rangers reference at some point. Anyway. <laughs> it's already like Ultraman. No, really! Um, a person with special powers from another universe fighting monsters, instead of monsters, it's robots that are look like they're going to be different robots every time that are sent. Yeah, it's literally Ultraman, or should I say Ultra Woman at this point. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, it, we're, we're literally going the Ultraman route. I'm just now, in, in, I swear to God, I will freak out if Anne goes, SHUACHA! <laughs> anyway... Or at least does the pose to shoot a beam out of her arm. I will freak out. I will mark you mark my words. I will freak the fuck out. Anyway, so there's that. We also have Sasha, who is pro her and Grime look like they're going to be leading the rebellion against um, and, and Andreas on er, on Amphibia. They're going to be fighting in, in the Amphibian for. They're going to be fighting for Amphibia. The problem is Sasha's kind of not in a good place because. It's probably going to be known that she betrayed Anne and got, and, you know, betrayed Anne, who everyone in the planner's hometown loved. It's also not going to help that the Toads have also, uh, the Toads aren't going to want to work with the Frogs because the fro the Toads have spent decades oppressing the Frogs, and the Frogs are probably going to remember that. So, Sasha's probably going to have a hard time kind of like, re uh, kind of like, rebuilding that trust. And she's not really good at that, of, like, rebuilding trust, because, yeah, she broke trust with Anne and Marcy towards the end of it. Even though, yeah, she did fight for, you know, help fight uh, Andreas at the end and said, yeah, I got your back. It still stung. Like, it still stung at the end of it. Like, had that not happened, um, she would have basically gone out as the villain. Um, so, yeah... Mar it's safe to say Sasha's got her hands full. Like, Sasha's going to have her hands full. And it's also the question of where do uh, Lady Olivia and Yunin stand? Because, yes, we did see uh, Yunin cut through a robot, but it was a robot being thrown, being tossed aside, and almost hit Lady Olivia. So, I'm still shipping them. Um, <laughs> by the way, in case you're wondering... So we don't know where their loyalties lie. Like we don't know where, Oli where Olivia and Yunin's loyalties lie. That could have just been I'm clear. I'm just I'm just guarding one of these royal family members, and I'm still loyal to the you know loyal to the king. Or it could be a situation where Yunin's like, this is fu like she'll pro what I think will happen with Yunin and Olivia will be like they're gonna stick with Indarius for a little bit and then slowly realize this is fucked. This is really fucked. We need to leave. Um, that's where I think at least that's where they're going with Yunan and Olivia, where they, where where Yunan will probably try to be loyal to the crown for just a little bit, and then like as she's going on with this, it's like this is extremely fucked. I'm out. <laughs> so that's what I think is gonna happen. That's what I really think is gonna happen with that storyline. 
Um, as for others, let's talk about the big one. Let's talk about Marcy. Let's let's really go over what could happen with Marcy. Marcy, as we saw, it looks like she's still alive in um, in a tube connected to. And I didn't notice this until someone put up like a still of one of the images where. It looks like the creature that Andarius is serving, that, that Lovecraftian monster, is hooked up to wires as well. So obviously it must have been hurt at some point in its lifespan. Obviously the three previous champions we saw in those uh, like hieroglyphs in the past. So it must have been hurt. It's still like on life support. And it looks like it's connected to the tube that, uh, that Marcy is in. So is it like trying to implant itself into, into Marcy? Is it trying to, like, erase her thoughts and change her? Um, is, Inder is Indarius, is Andreas, is Andreas and this creature he's serving going to, like, upgrade and, like, what's a lot, the working, like, theory right now with a lot of uh, Amphibia fans is that Marcy's going to be brainwashed into serving Andreas and Sasha and Anne will have to, like, knock some sense or, like, knock that mind control out of her. Um, we're all, I'm also curious when we're going to see, um, Sasha and Marcy's connection to the box unlock, just like Marcy, just like Anne's did. Hopefully that will probably be as, like, at the end of the show, Marcy and Anne, and Marcy and Sasha will also get their connection to the box returned. So, that's where I think, at least, we're going with that storyline. Now... So yeah, but for right now, I'm I'm pretty sure we're probably gonna see like brain like Winter Soldier Marcy. Like that's where I think we may be going is like a like a Winter Soldier Marcy or Mecha Mar or Cyborg Marcy. Uh, me hashtag Mecha Marcy. <laughs> anyway, um, so we got that going. Now, the other question is, how does this all end? I think, and it's going to be this depressing ending where Sa where Marcy, Sasha, and Anne basically destroy the box. Like, they just destroy the box because the creature that they uh, that Andreas has been working with um, essentially is, like, connected to it. So the only way to stop is, like, break the box and, you know, be separated from Amphibia and Earth. Or they could do the Star Versus route and merge the two Earths. I'm still not over that. <laughs> anyway. So I think it's going to be like a sad, a bittersweet ending, but like they're going to move on with their lives. I also think that Sasha is going to stay in Amphibia. I think like we do know that she does have parents. We do know that Sasha has parents, but, we, but I'm kind of getting the sense that her family life is not as it seems. Like, I think there may be some trouble at home, just like with Marcy. So, I think Sasha, even though, yeah, she has a, she has a family, she kind of has a new family with Grime and the Toads. So I think, um, and again, I could be totally wrong on this, I think what might happen is that Sasha keeps to a word and stays on Amphibia for the rest of her life. Like, she just becomes, like, I wouldn't say she takes over after Andreas's defeat, but what I do think is going to happen is that she's going to be like be very much with the toads and with the toads. I think she's going to be like either made a general or you know oversee the new like the new ruling kingdoms. Because I think what's going to happen is that after Andreas's defeat, the toads, newts, Sal like all the amphibians are going to be like making a working council, like a new to restructure the government. So that, you know, everyone has, like, shared power and, in, like, a new council of democracy. Um, so that's what I think is going to happen. I think that's... And, Sa and Sasha's going to be staying in Amphibia to, like, oversee that. She's not going to rule over anyone. She's just, I think that's going to be the thing, is that I think she's going to stay in Amphibia, but she's going to learn not to want to rule over anyone. Like, that's going to be the thing with her and Grime. Like I said, I think what they're doing with Sasha and Grime is that they're basically the new Zuko and Iroh. Um, so I think what's going to happen is that Grime and Sasha are going to be, like, assisting with the, like, um, with, like, overseeing this new power, like, this new sharing of power, and that's where I think it's going to go. Like, that's where I think might happen. I don't know what's going to happen with Marcy and Anne, um, 
But that's what I'm kind of leaning towards. What that's what might happen with Sasha above all else is that she's going to stay in Amphibia, because I've got this feeling that she's not like her family is not like it's not okay at home, and I would like just once to see Disney do like a fa like. Well, we did have that with Tarzan and a few other places, but I'd like to see in an animated show that, you know, found family stuff can work. Like, you know, new family can be a, you know, just as great, a, a, and if, if not better than your regular family. So, that's what I'd like, that's what I'm kind of hoping to see with this show, anyway. Um, so yeah, all in all, season three, looking forward to it. Um, I think it's been confirmed by Matt Barley that this will be the final season, which is fine. I mean, it doesn't hurt, you know... It, um, as long as it's a good ending, it'll be fine. But after DuckTales, and then, you know, this will end, Owl House will end, after season three, oh, Disney, you're running out of shows for me to watch. Uh, the Ghost of Molly McGee does look interesting, but, eh, I'm, I'm just kind of, like, missing, I'm gonna miss, like, these, like, great shows. But hopefully you'll get more, we'll get more down the line, especially with the Duck, with the, Darkwing Duck reboot and whatnot, so still got that to look forward to. Anyway, so you guys tell me in the comments below, what do you guys think, what are your guys' theories for Season 3 of Amphibia? Just comment below, let me know, and once again, I'm Mr. Multiverse, I'll see you next time in the Multiverse.